Durst the worst. Oh, Durst the worst. Durst is the worst. Durst 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 the worst. That's why feminists are useless and ridiculous. You're bringing kids in front of drag queens. Like, what is the point of that? I still haven't gotten to the bottom of what the point of that is. Why? Why the drag queens in particular? Why that? Why that specifically? Why people read the kids. What's the difference? Why them in particular? Do you read the kids? Why are you approaching me right now? Do you now? read the kids? I have an, I actually have an answer for this. You so, go, you drag, go. So I am, I am actually a drag performer in Hawaii, and I'm, I also teach children. Um, so for a long time, drag has been considered uh, a dirty, like a, like a, a immoral act. Drag as a, has been considered something to be ashamed of. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that, but I would say that it's intrinsically like sexual and like a drug scene, which is probably why a lot a drug scene. Like it's just probably probably why a lot of people are not. I mean, at least skeptical about it. What? So which is where? Why, why would you say it's a drug scene? Isn't that what it is? Don't you think that's what it is? But in like rural communities, Hold on. where big pharma pushed like oxycodone and shit, and we're fucking criminals. Those are the bigger drug scenes. I think we. Have I agree. Drugs. You're pivoting to another thing. I don't understand why you do that. Well, but you're, you yeah, asked. You asked like, what's why? the priority here? I already agree with that. Hold on. But, but you had you had a, you had a real question. Just, why drag queens? No, it doesn't it's matter. Funny. You asked why drag queens. I'm gonna go to no, I wanted to, I, I wanted to get back to. Why, why do you think that circumcision should not be the top prioritized issue? What is more important than that? Uh, what is more important? Like allowing trans people in bathrooms or gay wedding cakes? Like, what is more important than that? Uh, I don't mean, like bodily autonomy wise. Bodily autonomy wise, I think that male circumcision is really important, but I think that because there are women currently in America being jailed for having miscarriages. That's not true. They lied to you. They lied to you. Yeah, it just happened. No, they're lying to you. It's not because they're, they're having miscarriages. That's not true. Okay, but it would be the, the abortionist would go to jail. That's what it is. There was a woman who was almost set, like the charges were dropped, but there was a woman who almost went to prison for having a miscarriage. That happened. That's I, I would have to double look that up. If that's specifically what's happening, I would denounce that. But at the same time, there's a, thing, a, a fuckload of boys that are walking around not intact. And here's, I, I here's the thing. again, the priorities I would say bodily autonomy wise. Okay. In my opinion, the only thing that circum like the only thing that circumcision harms is penile sensitivity. And it's so, sexual sorry. assault, yo. It I is. actually tend to agree with you. It's sexual yeah, assault on a I, systemic basis. Is, this person's going to call me a sad little boy. What would you call me for decrying this practice? Is that what you did? Uh, yeah, but the thing is... is but why are you... See, this, this is the feminist gaslighting right here. Like, oh, you're a sad little man for oh, why, having a problem. Okay, so... Yeah, it is. You're telling me that I'm, like, like fucked in the head emotionally no, because I, I have a problem with this. Yeah. See? Yeah, there you go. You're telling me that I'm sad emotionally and fucked up... No, right. That, that, there you go. See, man. they're doing it to me right now. Little man. Why are you? Sad little why are you covering your face? Are you serious? Sad the cops like man. to target fucking anti-fascists instead of the sad real Nazis. Man. There are no Nazis, dude. There are no. They're Nazis. all dead. They're all dead. They're all literally fucking dead no, or fucking not. geriatric. Yeah, they are, dude. Okay. They're larpers okay. or they're fucking feds. They're larpers who are fucking trolls or gonna own the libs or something like that or they're feds. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. So what does that make you? Makes me not a Nazi. There you go. But you're but using. You so you, you think that the only Nazis that exist are the ones that are like from the 1940s in the German army? Well, yeah, but I mean, you're talking about. What do they do? They're Nazis. They they, show the what do they do? They no, they don't. It's the other way around. The, no. Huffington Post lied to you. That's not what's happening. You can look at my channel. You can find plenty of evidence to the contrary, actually. Look at that plug. Look at that plug. Oh, yeah. Plugging that shit. You're very online. You're very online. Can I ask you a question? I mean, I'm gonna get like eight other questions fired at me at the same time. Well, I just want to ask you about the consistency of your beliefs. Do you think that 
fucking circumcision is a violation of it, your body. It autonomy. literally you is. Know, it so, is. Are you in favor of like women's reproductive health rights? Like, like if you're against the biopolitics of the state, you have to be consistent and not just biopolitics. You have to be consistent. Did you take sociology? Okay. No, I didn't actually. Um, I didn't go to college. When you when you frame it as reproductive health care, you're. I mean. The, well, what, what, do you, no, what, are you what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you in favor of like people having bodily autonomy to do what? From the state? To do what? To have access to reproductive health care rights and have access to abortion. Stop using euphemisms and tell me no, to do I what? Just people did. have access have a, a to abortion. Right to bodily autonomy, and autonomy. They have the right to do with their body what they want. They have the right to alter the, their body the way they want. <laughs> he's not consistent. To do what with their body, though? Describe access to abortion. Access okay. To birth. Which is what? Which is what? Reproductive what you, health. Reproductive health. Reproductive so getting away from all these buzzwords and like and stuff like that. Abortion. Which is what? Uh, Terminating a pregnancy. Term, yeah. Killing. What? It's killing. An induced miscarriage. Yeah. Killing a kid? Or. It, well, no, it's technically killing a little. T- it looks like a little it's piece a of chewing gum. Cells. It's a clump of cells that doesn't become cognizant and conscious until the twenty fifth. The thing week is, is we're not talking about about the. Biology. I don't see how anyone could be stoked about abortion. Uh, I really don't see. Not no, about it. I don't see it. About it. We're just. Fighting for the women's ability to make that terrible decision for themselves. We're we're not talking about (laughs) biological life. We're talking about. He just keeps talking about that. That's that's the thing we're really talking about. I'm not. not So you're gaslighting again? I'm not gaslighting you. Oh, you're just a weirdo talking about dicks all day, even though your dick was cut. Oh yeah, you're a freak. You're talking about dicks. Yeah, you're talking about dicks. Even though, even though I might be bringing up legit issues, you're still gaslighting me. I'm not gaslighting. Yeah, you are. You're telling me that I'm obsessed with dicks. Yeah, you are. This is just gaslighting. Gaslighting. All you're doing is gaslighting me. Why are you so uncomfortable? Because you are a dis- dishonest gaslighting person. Talk about gaslighting. Am I? You're, you're, you're like, you're, take sociology. Your points on circumcision are valid. It is sexual assault. I didn't mean to. It's actually mutilation. It is. It's maiming. You know. Yeah. I, there's no reason. My, to me, that's. The, I was just asserting that that should be like one of the top issues, and they laughed at me, saying like. You're also using that as a smokescreen to talk about the fact that you don't think that. People should have access to and then other like, invasive yeah. or should should not <laughs> invasive okay not well, what do you mean? What you, ugh, these terms access? Do you mean that I should be funding it with, with taxes? What do you mean by access? A lot of that, that we you don't agree with the taxes. Yeah. That how, so time. how is it funded? How is it brought to people? And, and the yes, abortion like, procedures. Okay. You personally funded. Me personally. Okay. Yeah. All right. I would appreciate that a lot. Yeah. That's that's fine. That's fine. You know. <laughs> It's very funny, very funny. But access tends to mean forcing the primarily no, white male no. tax base to, to fund it. Oh, oh, white male. Male. Oh, oh, no. It's just a it's fact. A I have a question for you. It's though. a fact. Why are you bringing this this issue of circumcision to a drag queen story? We over? got in the weeds because people kept changing the subject and you it was crazy. That's my, no, but that's my you question. You literally yelled Why at my dad. You? You're in a ska band. Like, that was your dad, yeah. dude? Woo! <laughs> the Yikes Department. What? Yikes. Like, what, Yikes. What are you, what are you protesting here? I'm not protesting. I'm a skeptical... Uh, exactly. Don't you fucking shit on ska. I will never like, die, but you will, bud. Well, I'm, I'm asking... What Planet X-Fest is dead because that one dude was outed yeah, as that, a... Uh, that dude fucking sucks. I actually hate that dude. Is there any evidence that he actually did that other than hearsay, by the way? So people say that he did it, therefore he. This—that's another problem with like the whole Rainbow Patrol. Is that uh, you know maybe he pissed somebody off and they just fucking didn't like him anymore and they wanted to get him out of there. How do you know? Do you mind if I answer your question further about why drag queens? Why not just why not just a uh, person in random clothes like a shirt or well why why why, why that specifically why drag queen specifically I'm telling you because drag has a history of being considered <coughs> to be dirty to be immoral and so what we are doing is showing that drag queens are people and drag queens are more than qualified to speak to children and that drag itself is a 
medium of performance art that is based around the subversion of traditional gender norms. There we are. So I was trying to get to that, and they tried to get me a gotcha on the fact oh. that I didn't know the specific uh, storybooks. Well, but, I, but I was asserting that a lot of these are centered around deconstructing people's young boys' whiteness and maleness and stuff like that. Yeah. What is uh, well, okay. The what state is of what being male. male. The state of being Wait, male. So are you, are you against the idea of dismantling? Why dismantle things? Uh, I, dismantling things because it's it's a harmful. Every generation does it. It's a harmful. <laughs> I, yeah, but why? It's a harmful system. It is. A, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think ma a man and a woman raising a kid is one of the best systems. A man and a woman raising a kid is fine. Two but, people but, raising a child. But what is we're, the best. Tra we're not trying to. We're not trying to destroy the American family. Or more what people, we're trying actually, to do. No, what we're trying no to do is change the idea of what it means to be a specific gender. And the fact is that a lot of the reasons why the, yeah, right. the male suicide rate is so high is because they're trapped in this complex of toxic masculinity. Now that I know you hate that term. I, no, I've heard it a lot, but I don't see any evidence for that. That's that's like an ideologically I'm very, driven I'm thing. Very happy that you don't see that because uh, yeah. it's. It really sucks when you get to see it in person. But toxic masculinity I, I, describes a system. I know what it means. Okay, but the idea is that if you do not have a a support system in which you can clearly express your feelings and you're trapped behind this facade of toughness of like when you come to a feminist space and decry circumcision and then get laughed at? Is that what you mean? Yeah. So the toxic masculine system is perpetuated by feminists no. all the time? No. The toxic masculinity system is supported by the people who benefit from that system. But these people laughed at me when I said that that should be like one of the top issues. Right. Circumcision? Yeah, they laughed at me. They said that I'm a butthurt, sad, white male, yada, yada, yada. It's That's how that, that that was the response to me. Words can really hurt sometimes, right? Uh, hurt, I guess, but not. That's not really the primary focus. It's sort of it's the dishonesty and it's the deflecting and it's it's the obfuscation and it's arguing that like this boots this boutique issue of like funding my birth control pills should prior, be prioritized over whether or not you cut someone's penis. Like, it sounds, it sounds, don't you see that? Don't you see that as? So you might be only hearing specific points and yeah. putting them together in a in a stream of consciousness that suits your narrative? I don't think so. I think they primarily focus on, you said, uh, reproductive access, reproductive care, which, let's be honest, that means taxpayers funding abortion and uh, abortion or uh, contraceptives, which is a boutique issue. It's a very bourgeois issue, as I was trying to say earlier. Uh, abortion is a bourgeois issue? Having someone else fund your abortion, which 99.9% .9 of the time is like elective, I would say so, yeah. I would say that's a very bourgeois. I'm, I'm curious to see where your stats come from on that. I think like 2% of abortions are life of the mother and rape or incest. The remaining are basically just either they couldn't afford it or they didn't want the kid or what have you. But so in my opinion... Would you rather someone <laughs> forced to carry that pregnancy to term and... and yeah. Then they're just on their own instead of yeah. making it's a decision a, to make their Well, lives. I would rather, I would rather, well, the, I know the adoption system is, there's a lot of people that are there's trying to adopt. Well, and but the adoption system is overcrowded as it is. And it's already very difficult for most of the people who want to adopt, to adopt, especially if they're marginalized in any way. I understand, I guess I understand that it's, it's a whole quagmire, but it's probably preferable to do that than kill them. You know, I, I, but I, I don't know. I, I, what my point is that doing is miscarrying a, uh, an undeveloped. My, my point is that 99% of the time it's sort of an elective thing, and demanding that I fund that shit through taxation is a very boutique thing. Whereas, hey, can I keep my penis intact? That's not boutique. That's like actual an issue. That's an actual human rights issue. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to get across. And so I, I think that, it, that, but I think it's possible to be empathetic right. to both situations. I think that it's possible to both understand that you say it's not it's not zero sum is what you're saying. I'm saying that it's, it's sort of, possible to oh, yeah. care about more issues more than crazy. once than oh, one. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that circumcision yeah. is sexual assault, but I think that it's also important to keep that energy when you find out that women are literally dying because of the lack of access to 
proper reproductive health care. I think it's possible to care about both of these things at once. And really, if you're focused on the autonomy of Americans, then it might be important to listen to all of the Americans whose autonomy is compromised. I think that the women dying due to abortions is very infinitesimally small compared to the entire picture. I think, uh, aren't there like hundreds of boys that die from circumci botched circumcisions every year or don't have the usage of their dicks? I think... I think, I think there's. That, uh, I think your stats think might be a little bit reversed on that. I think hundreds of boys are killed every year from botched, botched baby dick cutting. Which earlier they called me anti-Semitic for opposing. By the way, that's that's something I wanted to pepper in there. I didn't hear what your comment was, but I, I, they were trying to get me. They were trying to say, "Oh, you love Ben Shapiro." I was like, "Nah, he cuts baby wieners." And that was a joke, but it's it's rooted in truth, I guess. And then they called me anti-Semitic for that. I have to, I have to get going. Yeah, but, uh, I'm going already. I have to get going. Try, bitch!